I am Crystal and welcome to BBC Creations. So today I'm going to um, teach you um, how to make a flux. Um, first of all, yes, we are going to use um, our white pattern paper. You need your pencil, your cleaner, your eraser, and then a tape. So let's get started. So first and foremost, if you have a fabric like this, all you have to do is to fold it into two. The reason why you are folding into two is to get the middle part. The middle part of your fabric. Make sure that it's the middle part. Make sure that the two edges are equal. Then you get the middle part. So when, when you get the middle part, you make a mark. So when you are actually making a mark, you open your paper like this. As you can see, this is the mark. You all can see, or even if you didn't use your pencil, you can see the middle part is here. So what we have to do right now is to use our tape. Then here is when you will decide the length of your flowers, the desired length of your flowers. So for me, I'm going to use the three and a half inches. You can use from two, two and a half, three, depending on how wide you want your flowers to be. So I'm going to use three and a half and use half inches for the seam allowance. I'm going to make my okay because of the length because i will not have enough i'm going to make it to be two so that i will have my flowers length will be enough so when i mark two here i'm going to place my tape and start marking two all over so here is going to be two also here is going to be two also so i'm going to mark three on all the equal on all the four sizes then I'm going to connect it. You can use whatever you like to connect. Be it your um, compass. Be it your compass. Be it your your ruler. You can use it to to connect. Because this is a free hand. So once you have make you have made a circle you use that two inches that you measured also and start circling if you want that two inches to be the length you can use it depending on the length like i said earlier on so because of the the length of this i'm going to be using that two inches but my desired length is uh four inches so from here since i have marked my two inches from here i'm going to connect from this point, I'm going to connect to my two inches here. So I'm going to mark out two inches again. I'm going to connect two inches again. So from here, I'm going to connect my lines like so. Always make sure that you have two inches. So. So since I have two inches, I now have a circle like so. So I'm going to be using two. I'm going to be using two inches to connect my my lines. So so that's easy. This thing is it's so super easy if you know how to go around with it or how to go about with it so i'm going to use that two inches and be making a circle and it to be making a circle all through so that's how we are going to be doing so we reach the end of 
the edges we reach to this edge so it's so easy to do so let me just mark out that two inches so i will start connecting my lines for to make it a little bit easier for me so So that's how you are going to be marking out that two inches like so till you reach the very end. So as you all can see here, I have reached to the very end of this part. So I'm going to connect my two inches here. So I have reached the end of this side. So I'm going to continue to erase the end of this side also. So I'm going to continue with my two inches all around till I reach the end of this smaller edge guys we are true with the marking out of the two inches so all i have to do is to start connecting it is to start connecting the lines so that you guys will see and i'll keep on turning i'll keep on turning till i'm true with connecting all the lines This is the most easiest part of it all. So guys, that's how you will keep connecting your two inches till you reach the very end of it. Like here now is the end of this edge so i'm going to make sure to reach the other edge so that we can start cutting it out so i'm um, i'm at this finished edge also so i'm going to keep connecting till i reach the end of it so here is the end of my blouse you can see that my blouse have a very big length 
so i'm going to start cutting out so here is an opportunity for you to know the type of edge you want the type of end you want to give your flowers is it going to be slanting or is it going to be equal end equal end it's going to be slanting slanting is something like this or is it going to be equal end or is it going to have a triangular triangular shape so here is where you will decide on how you want your flowers to look so i'm going to cut out first of all i'm going to start cutting out out the outer edge of it so remember to smoothen all rough edges Remember to smoothen everything out. So I'm going to start cutting out at this. So if you reach the end of this part, you don't have to, you have to start cutting out at the second line. So that's the trick. Start cutting out at the second line so that you have a perfect blouse. So So you will have to continue turning your fabric or your paper around so that you will get you will get it right. Don't drag your paper. If you know that your paper is soft like mine, so you don't have to drag it to avoid it tearing up. Always be gentle. Don't rush. So here is a tricky part. You have to keep on turning, but turn smoothly. You have to keep on turning. You have to keep on turning, but turn smoothly. So here you have reached almost at the end part of it. So here is where you will be so 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 careful while cutting because you can make mistake at any point when you reach to this edge or when you reach to this point so i'm going to cut out this circle because we don't need it anymore so if you reach here this is also the point where you will decide on the design you want to make with the edges of your clouds also the same thing you did at the top so here is our starting point we are not going to use it anymore and here is our flowers so you can see that our flowers is so perfect you can put it anywhere that you you desire you can put it on your sleeve i will show you i will show you a picture of our collection that i use flowers to achieve the sleeve so here is a perfect example of uh, how to cut your flowers so with this you can also use it to you can also use your um, your horse hair or your crinoline to attach it so you have a perfect uh, a perfect curve so that's how 
this looks like so imagine it on your imagine it on your on your fabric you will see how perfect this looks like as i said earlier on you can use how you can use any inches you want to achieve this you can use any inches you want you can use from two inches from one from one and a half you can use two two and a half you can also use uh, three inches four inches five inches depending on how big you want your clouds to look like so that's how mine looks like and you can see it's so perfect so like i said earlier here you can see that the two edges are you can see that the two edges are the same so here is where you decide on how you want your edges the your edge clouds to look like you want it to be slanty do you want it to be slanty like this or do you want it to be to have a triangular shape like this or do you want it to be flat do you want it to be flat like this so depending on how you want it to look like so thank you guys for staying with me on this video and don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not come across this video before but if you have if you have and have not subscribed please click on that subscribe button below and uh, stay tuned see you guys on my next video bye